So many a times the person will stay awake at night. Mothers stay awake till late at night. When the child is sick, then look at the sleepless nights that they spend. Why do they spend that in the love of the child? And the children also, when they make some demands, if those children are beloved, then the parents go out of their way to fulfill those demands. So that is what we term as true love. So when we are going out of our way to make the beloved happy, or we wait for some hukam or some order or some kind of request from the one who is beloved. The person says that I will enjoy eating this, then the person makes sure that he gets something that is that fulfills that desire of the beloved. Whatever thing is beloved. So like that Allah wa ta'ala who should be our true beloved. Now if Allah Ta'ala is giving a hukam that you must fast in the month of Ramadan, so this person who is the lover of Allah wa ta'ala, he truly believes that there is nothing but great goodness in this order and command of Allah Ta'ala that he is directing. And therefore he enjoys the fulfillment of that hukam and that command. He does not just do it as a duty. As I mentioned many times, we have just become dry worshippers. In other words, even people like us who make our five-time namaz and we fast in Ramadan and we give our zakat or we go for hajj or we fulfill the rights of some people, then they too there is nothing but just a fulfillment of a hukam of Allah wa Ta'ala even though that too we must appreciate and we must not consider it as insignificant. But that is not the maqsad. That is just like we have to do it, so what else can we do? So that is just like a person who is working from 8 to 5, is employed in somebody's business. And now you tell that person, are you enjoying the work that you are doing? He says, no, I don't enjoy it one bit. I just dislike everybody around me there and I don't like that work one bit. They say, then why are you going to work then? He says, what else can I do? I have to go. If I'm not going to go, then how am I going to provide for the children and how am I going to pay the rent, light and water bills. So in other words, he's just doing it without any real enjoyment and without really looking forward to it. But the person who has got true love for Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, so then that person does not just do it because if he's not going to do it, he's going to go into the fire of hell. That person looks at Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala first, that look at Allah's fazl and ihsan upon me. He has blessed me with my life, with my health, with my wealth with my sight, with my hearing, with my speech. It is my Allah who is showering His namas 24 hours of the day. So now the person loves Allah wa ta'ala.